For more on the developments at that conference on Afghanistan today, we turn to Lisa Curtis, a senior research fellow at the Heritage Foundation, a public policy institute in Washington. Thank you for being with us. What was the United States trying to achieve today at the International Conference on Afghanistan? Well, I think there are really two purposes. One was to explain the new U.S. strategy toward Afghanistan and Pakistan. This was what was explained by President Obama last Friday here in Washington. Uh, the idea that the U.S. would pursue a comprehensive strategy addressing both Afghanistan and Pakistan, including sending more troops and providing training and mentoring for the Afghan troops, but also a civilian surge, sending more civilian specialists, specialists like agricultural specialists, to support the economic and reconstruction of the country, and a focus on regional diplomacy. So I think Secretary Clinton wanted to explain the U.S. policies to our European partners. And secondly, I think uh, Secretary Clinton wanted to invite the uh, international partners to help in any way they could in terms of providing economic assistance, maybe providing uh, people for the civilian surge. So I think those were really the two goals. Well, we already mentioned that there were meetings that took place today between the U.S. and Iran, and there was an exchange of letters. What role could Iran play in Afghanistan? Well, I think the Obama administration is exploring whether there are certain areas where U.S. and Iranian interests converge in Afghanistan. And one of these areas would be on the counter-narcotics issue. Iran has a huge problem with drug addiction and would very much like to see the narcotics uh, flow stopped from Afghanistan. So I think they're exploring whether we could cooperate in some of these narrow areas of engagement. And it's worth noting that Iran actually played a helpful role in the bond process that helped establish the new government in Afghanistan back in December 2001. So there is a precedent for working with Iran on Afghanistan. But of course, more recently, we've seen some unhelpful activities in terms of arms going to the Taliban from Iran. So I think we would have to see those activities stopped. So we have to go into this with our eyes wide open, uh, handle these initial uh, talks very delicately, and just realize that uh, you know we should have low expectations at this point. Lisa Curtis, thank you very much for joining us this evening. Thank you.